The cry of Pugad Lawan, Filipino, Saga ng Pugad Lawan, alternately and originally referred to as the cry of Balintawak, Filipino, Saga ng Balintawak, Spanish, Grito de Balintawak, was the beginning of the Philippine Revolution against the Spanish Empire. At the close of August 1896, members of the Katipunan Secret Society, Katipuneros, led by Andres Bonifacio, rose up in revolt somewhere in an area referred to as Calucan, wider than the jurisdiction of present day Calucan City, which may have overlapped into present-day Quezon City, originally the term cry referred to the first clash between the Katipuneros and the civil guards, Guardia Civil. The cry could also refer to the tearing up of community tax certificates, cedulas personales, in defiance of their allegiance to Spain. This was literally accompanied by patriotic shouts, because of competing accounts and ambiguity of the place where this event took place, the exact date and place of the cry is in contention. From 1908 until 1963, the official stance was that the cry occurred on August 26 in Balintawak. In 1963 the Philippine government declared a shift to August 23 in Pugad Lawan, Quezon City. Different dates and places Various accounts give differing dates and places for the cry. An officer of the Spanish Guardia Civil, Lieutenant Oligario Diaz, stated that the cry took place in Balintawak on August 25, 1896. Historian Teodoro Cala in his 1925 book The Filipino Revolution wrote that the event took place during the last week of August 1896 at Cancong, Balintawak. Santiago Álvarez, a Katipunero and son of Mariano Álvarez, the leader of the Magdawing faction in Cavite, stated in 1927 that the cry took place in Bahay Toro, now in Quezon City on August 24, 1896. Pio Valenzuela, a close associate of Andres Bonifacio, declared in 1948 that it happened in Pugad Lawan on August 23, 1896. Historian Gregorio Zaid stated in his books in 1954 that the cry happened in Balintawak on August 26, 1896. Fellow historian Teodoro Agoncillo wrote in 1956 that it took place in Pugad Lawan on August 23, 1896, based on Pio Valenzuela. S statement. Accounts by historians Milagros Guerrero, Emmanuel Encarnacion and Ramon Villegas claim the event to have taken place in Tondong Sora. S. Barn in Gulad, Barangay Banla, Quezon City. Some of the apparent confusion is in part due to the double meanings of the terms Balintawak and Kalukan at the turn of the century. Balintawak referred both to a specific place in modern Kalukan City and a wider area which included parts of modern Quezon City. Similarly, Kalukan referred to modern Kalukan City and also a wider area which included modern Quezon City and part of modern Pasig. Pugad Lawan, Pasong Tamo, Kangkong and other specific places were all in Greater Balintawak, which was in turn part of Greater Kalukan. Definition of the cry The term cry is translated from the Spanish El Grito de Rebellion, cry of rebellion, or El Grito for short. Thus the Grito de Balintawak is comparable to Mexico's Grito de Dolores 1810. However, El Grito de Rebellion strictly refers to a decision or call to revolt. It does not necessarily connote shouting, unlike the Filipino Saga. First skirmish Up to the late 1920s, the cry was generally identified with Balintawak. It was commemorated on August 29, considered the anniversary of the first hostile encounter between the Katipuneros and the Guardia Civil. The first shot of the revolution, El Primer Tiro, was fired at Banla, Pasong Tamo, then considered a part of Balintawak and now part of Quezon City. Tearing of Cedulas Not all accounts relate the tearing of Cedulas in the last days of August. Of the accounts that do, older ones identify the place where this occurred as Kangkong in Balintawak, Calocan. Most also give the date of the Cedula tearing as August 26, in close proximity to the first encounter. One Katipunero, Guillermo Masangay, claimed Cedulas were torn more than once, on the 24th as well as the 26th, for his 1956 book The Revolt of the Masses Teodoro Agoncillo defined the cry 
as the tearing of Cetilas, departing from precedent which had then defined it as the first skirmish of the revolution. His version was based on the later testimonies of Pio Valenzuela and others who claimed the cry took place in Pugat Lawan instead of Balintawak. Valenzuela's version, through Agoncillo's influence, became the basis of the current stance of the Philippine government. In 1963, President Diosdado Macapagal ordered the official commemorations shifted to Pugat ng Uwak, Quezon City on August 23. Formation of an insurgent government An alternative definition of the cry as the birth of the Filipino nation-state involves the setting up of a national insurgent government through the Katipunan with Bonifacio as president in Banlaw, Pasong Tamo on August 24, 1896 after the tearing of Cetilas but before the first skirmish. This was called the Herring Bayang Katagalugan sovereign Tagalog nation. Other cries In 1895 Bonifacio, Masangay, Emilio Jacinto and other Katipuneros spent Good Friday in the caves of Mount Pamatanan in Montalban, now part of Rizal Province. They wrote, Long live Philippine independence! on the cave walls, which some Filipino historians consider the first cry. El Primer Grito, there might even be an earlier cry of independence, much earlier than Bonifacio's 1895. In the evening of January 20, 1843, some Filipino soldiers of the Tayabas Regiment did a kind of coup d'état and took Fort Santiago and struck fear on the Spanish authorities at Malacañang. Although they lost, here is the report of the French consul at that time. The rebels were heard to cry out to their countrymen to rise in arms and fight for independence. This was the first time that word, independence, had been uttered in the Philippines, as a rallying cry. It is a milestone, Your Excellency, on the road to freedom. Commemoration the cry is commemorated as National Heroes Day, a public holiday in the Philippines. The first annual commemoration of the cry occurred in Balintawak in 1908 after the American colonial government repealed the sedition law. In 1911, a monument to the cry, a lone Katipunero popularly identified with Bonifacio, was erected at Balintawak. It was later transferred to Vinzens Hall in the University of the Philippines Diliman, Quezon City. In 1984, the National Historical Institute of the Philippines installed a commemorative plaque in Pugad Lawn. References Further reading Soledad Masangay Borromeo, 1998. The Cry of Balintawak, A Contrived Controversy, A Textual Analysis with Appended Documents. Ateneo University Press. ISBN 978-971-550-278-8. External links Andres Bonifacio The Eve of St. Bartholomew The Cry of Pugad Lawn National Historical Institute, Celebrating National Heroes Day